Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free here today. We'll be covering the news that has dropped tonight on both versions of the game. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe if you're new for more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle summons, showcases, news, etc. here on the channel. So the first thing I want to mention is we're going to go over global very, very, very briefly because uh, this is stuff that we've kind of already seen on the Japanese version, but it's pretty new. But I'm excited for it nonetheless, obviously, because it's the first time Global's getting this stuff. So yeah, Global is actually about to get the uh, legendary Goku event, Goku's legendary battle, finally, right? Finally coming through um, over on the global side of things. And I know a lot of people are waiting for that as well. So very, very excited for that. Not only that though, we are jumping right into the Namek Saga celebration. So we're gonna get Goku here. And of course, uh, Namek Goku is followed up by Full Power Freeze's LR card. So another LR will be summonable. Um, let's, I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of a break, like a few weeks or so, but like still, that's almost like eight LRs in a row or something like that for Global. It's been pretty crazy, man. And also they do have that story event coming through as well. So let me know if you guys are hyped for that from the Global side of things. Now, we have future Gohan coming to JP alongside a new Trunks as well. So if you guys would like to see the Super Attack, I'll leave a video down below. You guys can check it out. It's only about a minute though. I don't wanna cover that in this video though, but this is some heat and that OST, it sounds gorgeous. I'm loving it. I'm excited for this, right? So here are the future Gohan and Trunks cards. We do have translations from Man Goresh. I did have to call him and wake him up, though. We both were like, oh, it's it's happening. Okay, it's time to get up. Um, so we're going to start off by taking a look at the Trunks card. So we do have a new Trunks coming out. Finally, an, uh, for, for one, finally another like armor Trunks. We don't get a lot of these, right? So I'm excited about this. Um, overall, though, I, I, I've said on several occasions recently that I was really hoping in the Cell Saga Celebration to actually pick up like a Super Trunks type of card. And this is good enough, I'd say. This is this is a nice, you know, uh, compromise or whatever, because this is the tail end of the Cell Saga. You know, this is him going back to the future at the very end of the Cell Saga. So this is pretty cool, man. So we're gonna go ahead and do the translations for him, and then we'll talk about the Gohan afterwards. So Trunks, leader skill, master and student bond. Key plus three, 120%. So yes, that will be Gohan's leader skill. A lot of people have pretty much. I, I felt like, I felt like that was a good guess, and I, I felt like it could have. It, it was it was bordering on, it was bordering on a little bit obvious because there is a lot of that type of interaction between Trunks and Gohan, right? That's his mentor, that's his his teacher, all of that. Um, but I just didn't know if Dokkan would actually do it, just because of how limited that category is. But I mean, we have other really limited categories too, anyway. Now we don't get to see that category yet, but when we get the data download in game later, we will of course get to see that. Um, but Master and Student Bond, 3 key, 120. Nice. Uh, super attack is Heat Dome attack. Greatly increases attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. A great attack and defense raise for that one turn is going to be very significant for him, of course. So the passive skill, attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the turn. Key plus 3 and an additional 70% attack and defense if there is a character whose name it contains future Gohan on your team. Okay, so whose name contains is another thing. I'm not going to go over this whole cheat sheet thing, nail thing again. But just know if you know about that, that is actually uh, more or less the same thing as Chi Chi. So if we ever get like a future Gohan and like LR Trunks card in the game, that card would be able to trigger this as opposed to Nail who would need just a specific type of card. I, again, I've explained that on several occasions. It does actually matter though. But character contains the name future Gohan on your team. Pretty good. Um, so on top of that though, you get three key additional and 70%. So when you're alongside a future Gohan, that is a very profound bonus. But that's not all though. An additional six key and perform a critical hit if there is an Android category enemy. Wow. So another guaranteed critical hit unit. Doesn't Super Vegeta get that? It's 1 a.m. So forgive me. Uh, I just woke up like I said. If I if I make any mistakes, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but another unit that's just gonna body androids ultimately. So if we ever get a Cell Legendary Goku Battle type of event where it's just Cell forms all the way through, or even like the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage 2 where it's all Androids enemies, like that type of stuff is really destroyed by this guy uh, and characters like that. Battlefield Krillin, the Super Vegeta, any character versus the Androids, they just destroy it, man. But that's not all. Additional 60% if there is an enemy character whose name contains Cell, excluding Cell Jr. Okay, so this one is actually a lot more relevant than the future Gohan example, because they're actually, this means that this will proc versus any version of Cell, except for Cell Jr. So it can be versus the LR Cell and Cell Jr. boss, if you ever get to really fight them, that's not very common, right? It could be versus first form, second form, perfect form, 
and Perfect Cell as well. This is where the name disparity comes in. Again, whose name contains Cell means that it would be any boss that has Cell in the name, right? And if we ever get like a Frieza and, and Cell type of LR, I guess, that would still count too as a boss that you could fight and get that versus. So you got a situation where it's situational, but at the bare minimum, he's getting 100% attack and defense while also doing a great attack and defense raise and supreme damage. But other than that, though, the next part is incredibly easy to get on the teams you'd be applicable to. Three keys, 70%. And there are several future Gohan cards in circulation, and I'm really hoping that the other ones, older ones, do get those easy A's just to make Trunks so much more better, uh, so much more accessible, right? But even then, you can use any future Gohan to get that next part. The, the last two parts, though, the additional six key crit, and then also the additional 60% afterwards versus the cell are going to be kind of very, very situational. But the other two, you're still getting 170% unless it calculates separately. He's going to be really powerful. All right, here's Future Gohan. So, by the way, um, I didn't really show the arts overall too much, but here's Future Gohan. And again, here was Trunks here. So, here's the translation for Future Gohan, courtesy of Goresh. Uh, Master and Student Bond or Hybrid Saiyans. Yes. They finally gave hybrids a 170% attack leader. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay, 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 okay. We've been waiting for that. I knew he was a hybrid Saiyan leader. I just didn't know it was 170 attack. Man, my boy Ultimate Gohan. Your defensive split is no longer needed. Dun, dun, dun. No, no, no. He still got... Uh, the defensive split still has some viability, but... Yeah, um, definitely going to want to pull this future Gohan now to replace him. Um, super attack, or I guess use alongside him, whatever you want to do. Greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. A great raise yet again. So the passive, 100% attack and defense at the start of the turn. Reduces damage received by 58% when HP is 58% or below. That's not going to happen very often, but okay. Especially with that high defense and then the defense raise, but I mean, okay, it's fine. It'll happen every so often. Master and Student Bond Category Allies. Wait, what? One key in 30%. Oh, very uncommon to get a Dokkan Fest support unit, especially one with this level of potential, right? He's a transforming unit. Otherwise, even if he didn't transform, he'd be pretty good either way, man. I will say, being a hybrid Saiyan leader, that, that is also restrictive because that, that secondary part there, it just kind of depends. I assume that like every Gohan card pretty much in the game will be in there. Uh, maybe not Ultimate Gohan or Gohans from that timeline, but especially the younger Gohan, you know, like SS2 Gohan and stuff because of the relationship with Piccolo. But if they really want to be like super liberal, they can make it like only, you know, early, early young Gohan, like four-year-old Gohan, stuff like that, early Cell Saga. Um, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But like, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I don't think they'll be that liberal though because Trunks card should be in it. Like I think every card pretty much that's Trunks should be able to get that bonus. Links are all in the family, same warrior race, same lineage, cold judgment. Okay. Experienced fighters, dismal future, and fierce battle. Not a bad link set, actually. He, he, um. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me revise that statement. It's not a bad link set, but it could definitely be better. He's very fortunate he offers key. Because that one key is going to be so huge for who, him and whoever he's al alongside, right? He has a very good link set to be alongside a future Trunks card, though. And it doesn't really matter which it doesn't matter which future which future trunks excuse me it is any of them you know dismal future is pretty common cold judgment as well you know stuff like that it'll be pretty common there um, he probably actually has a very good ally in the transforming go uh, trunks excuse me he has pretty much a lot of the same links I think same warrior race yep same lineage yeah so, so several of the same links it does suck he does not prepare for battle though I will say but I mean that's fine so his transformation conditions by the way I didn't hear the categories for him you could feel free to look at that. After four turns when HP is 58% or above, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because that could have easily been the other way. Four turns and below. Oh, my God, man. Um, transform if there's a character whose name contains Trunks on your team, excluding Youth or GT Trunks. Again, very good because any future Trunks card, whether it's the Dragon Ball Super Iteration, any of them will be able to trigger this. It's very it's very loose, right? You can't use characters this, this, this Gohan's not affiliated with pretty much. So that's cool. Um, but again, it, it should be easy to do. So post transformation, he actually stacks attack limitlessly. Okay, instead of raising defense, he goes from being a, a lot of a defensive unit to apparently looking like he's more of an offensive unit. Passive is 100% attack, reduced damage received by 58%. Huh? Wait, wait, 
He doesn't get defense anymore. Own key plus one and attack and defense plus 30%. Per, oh, there it is. <laughs> per master and student category ally attacking in the same turn. That's gimmicky. Perform an additional super attack if there's an android category enemy. Man, another unit that's going to body an android stage. Saiyan Warrior Race and Saiyan Lineage become Super Saiyan and Golden Warrior. Wait, still no prepare for battle? <laughs> Alright, I guess. Um, at least he'll be pretty self-sufficient. So there's that. Because he's getting key plus one per, so he'll get he'll be able to get um He'll be able to get uh it, it says per ally, so I'm assuming it'll be three in the turn if you go full master and student bond for that rotation, right? Uh it'll be two at least though. It depends on how they want to do it, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's three. Wow, I'm, I, again, I'm really shocked he doesn't have, like, shocking speed and stuff. Because shocking, not, he doesn't have to have shocking speed specifically, but, like, stuff like that. Because this is, he's actually doing a lot of the pro, same problem that Ultimate Gohan had. It's just like, okay, well, uh, you're a good leader, but you don't really synergize too well with the cards. So uh, we have to see his other category, though. But I'm talking mainly from the perspective of hybrids. It looks like mainly he's going to be usable as an off-rotation unit or or a unit with heavy support on his team, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, or just a lot of like Trunks cards and stuff, like, which again is not another bad thing. It just feels limiting to me. But I definitely need to see him, but I'm definitely excited though regardless, so trust me. Um, but I, I definitely need to see that Master of Student Bond category. But I, I okay, so when, per attacking ally in the turn, correct me if I'm mistaken, but doesn't that mechanic kick in at the time of the attack, right? And not pre-time of the attack. That's relevant because that would mean he would have no natural defenses other than no no natural defense. He would just be able to reduce damage received by 58%. Reducing damage is good, but by itself without natural defense isn't so great. It seems like he's going to tank incredibly well after attacking though. I don't know. We just have to see kind of some of this stuff in action. Um, but I do like that he limitlessly stacks. I do like the transformation condition. That's fine. Um, the pre-transformation, he's actually really good. Uh, you get the natural attack and defense while also getting the defense raise and the support. Like, he seems like you... Uh, I would actually be inclined in a lot of cases to just not even bother transforming versus specific content. But then, of course, when you do transform, you get a lot more offensive value, especially because he's able to stack. So, I like him. I, I, I like him. I definitely need to see him, though. And I feel like he's a character that can be really good. So, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.